Aloha everyone, Chris Fujigami here, and today we're going to be doing one of my favorite songs from my childhood, from the movie Aladdin, entitled A Whole New World. So let's get right into it. First you're going to hold the first fret on your E string and you're going to strum that once. Then you're going to pick the third fret on your E, first fret on your A, open on the A, first fret on the E, and open on the C. Next you're going to press the first fret on the E string and you're going to strum that again, followed by picking on the third fret of the E. 1st fret of the A, open on the A, 1st fret of the E, and this time you're going to follow it with your D minor, 2nd on the G string, 2nd on the C string, and 1st on the E string, and you're going to strum that once. Again, so that's 2nd on the G, 2nd on the C, and 1st on the E, and strum that once. Now you're going to press the 3rd fret on the E, and you're going to strum only the top three strings. So you're going to strum all the way to your E string. Okay? You're not strumming the last string, which is your A. So again, that section would be first fret on the E, third on the E, first fret on the A, open on the A, first fret on the E, D minor, and then 3rd fret on the E, and strumming only to the E string. So, so far you would have... D minor. Next you're going to press the 2nd fret on your C, 3rd fret on your E, and you're going to pick those together followed by your 2nd fret on the E, pick that once, then you're going to hold your A7, which is your 1st fret on the C string, you're going to strum that once. Again, so it'll be 2nd fret on the C string, 3rd fret on the E string, pick those together, then 2nd fret on the E, A7, then followed by a 3rd fret on the E, open on the E, then back to the 2nd fret on the C, and 3rd fret on the E. That section would be... Okay, following that would be the 1st fret on the E, open on the E, and 1st fret on the E. Okay, that would sound like... Okay, following that, you're going to pick the 2nd fret on the C, 1st fret on the E, 3rd fret on the E, 1st fret on the E, 
and open on the C. So that whole section would be So the next section is basically the same thing as the first section, which is a little tweak at the very end. We're gonna play the second section up until that changing point. So again, it would be. Okay, so right here, instead of going to that open C like how we did the first in the first section, like that, you would end it with your first fret on the E string and give it one strum. Again, that section would be and strum. So, so far you should be sounding exactly like this. Alright, moving right along into the chorus, you're going to pick your A string open, 1st fret on the A, 5th fret on the A, and we're going to strum our C chord, which is the 3rd fret on the A string. Okay, again, so it would be open on the A, 1st fret on the A, 5th fret on the A, and your C. Follow that up with your 1st fret on your E string, and you're going to strum that once. Again, that whole section will be Next you're going to pick open on the A 1st fret on the A 5th fret on the A Back to your C, strum one time Pick the 3rd fret on the E Then you're going to hold your 1st fret on your C string and 1st fret on your A string and you're going to strum that Okay. Again, that would be open on the A, 1st fret on the A, 5th fret on the A, C, 3rd fret on the E, 1st fret on the C, and 1st fret on the A together, and you strum that. Now you're going to pick open on the A string, and back to your D minor chord. Again, that's going to sound like... Right, now you're going to go back to the 1st fret on your E string and you're going to strum that once. Then you're going to pick the 1st fret on your A. Pick the 3rd fret on your A. Again, so that will be... Now you're going to go all the way down to the 7th fret of your A string, 6th fret of your E string, and 5th fret of the C string. And you're going to strum that. Again, so it's the 7th fret on your A string, 6th fret on your E string, and 5th fret on your C string. One strum. Followed by one pick on the 5th fret of your A string. Now you're going to go to your 1st fret of your E string, and the 3rd fret of your A string, 
and strum that once. Again, that section will be. Now you're going to pick the first fret on your E string. Then you're going to go back up to the seventh fret on the A, sixth fret on the E, and fifth fret on the C. Then you're going to pick the eighth fret on your A, back up to the first fret on the E string, and the third fret on the A. So that section will be. Next, you're going to hold your D minor and you're going to strum that once. Then you're going to pick your third fret on your E string. Then you're going to hold your G7, which is your second fret on the A, first fret on the E, and second fret on the C. Alright, so that part would sound like. Then you're going to pick the third fret on the E again. So it would be. Then you're going to press the first fret on your A string, first fret on your E string, on your C string. Okay, so that whole section should sound like. on to the last section of the chorus. So the last section of the chorus is basically the same thing as the first section of the chorus. Again, it will be a repeat of. So it will repeat all the way up until that section. And to close out the song, you're going to pick an open A. First fret on the E. Open on the E. And you end by pressing the first fret on your E string and giving that one last drum. That is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want to follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, it's all in the description box below. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. And until next time, aloha.